Welcome back, everybody. We are back with more Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. We have restored the land back to its former glory and former light. And now we are dressed up in green. Nice costume change, thank you. Makes me wonder why that happened, but... Or how that happened, but... Oh well. I'm guessing it, once you reach transform from a wolf to a human, you dress up in green. Oh well, logic. Apparently, in this game, I don't know. Magic. We'll just say magic. All right. Let's continue. We have to go to the temple, and Midna has something to say. Now then. It's finally time for that weapon I worked so hard to get. You worked so hard. Um, if I recall correctly, I'm the one that got it for you. You probably already know this, but swing your sword with B and raise your shield with L. I'm so helpful, aren't I? <laughs> Just think of me when you use those, okay? Yeah, um, you know what? You're not that helpful. We've known this since the beginning of the game. See? Raise your shield, you can block attacks. Normal for some games. So, let's continue and exterminate some more weeds. And yeah. Come on, Link. Yeah, there we go. Let's go talk to Caro. Over here. Hello, Caro. How are you? Hun? So, it's the Ordonian. You seemed familiar, but then your clothes seemed kinda different, so I got thrown off for a second. Listen, things have been a little rough around here lately, so you should watch your step, okay, guy? There are so many monsters now. Kinda got scared and closed off the path to the temple. But you, guy, uh, you wanna get back there, huh? You sure look geared up for it. So, here you go. Da -da -da -da! We got another key. Our second key. Oh yeah, the woods on the other side of this cave are covered in really thick fog. So make sure your lantern is full. You're definitely going to need to use your lantern a lot in there. So bring all the oil you can. And check this out. I have a special one-time offer of a bottle full of lantern oil for only 100 rupees. How about it, guys? What a bargain. I'm going to go ahead and buy this because it's our second bottle of the game. We get free lan we get lantern oil with it too, so yeah. And you can put all kinds of stuff in that bottle once you get use all the oil inside, guy. And hey, keep using the lantern so you'll come back and buy more oil, okay guy? Yep. So we even still have that milk from that uh what's her face gave us. Uh Sarah, she gave us. And my lantern is kinda running a bit low on fuel, so I just wanna light light this though. Let's continue cutting up weeds and, or not weeds, but grass, you know, being a lawnmower. Link's true profession. Forget being a hero. We're going to be a lawnmower. It pays so much better than being a hero. Think about it, guys. I mean, if it wasn't for all the grass everywhere, Link would be poor. Alright. Back through this cave for the third time this day er, playthrough. Probably more now I think about it. Die bats. Heart, heart, heart. Om nom 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 nom. Delicious. Yeah. I love hearts. straightforward. Okay. And so, we've already encountered this fog that, uh, Carol was talking about. 
talking about. And it does not look that good for our health. Yeah, every time you restart the game, it comes back up to tell you, Oh! You got a ruby! First time you get one, so, uh, yeah. Unfortunately, we have no method of actually getting through this fog, because last time we were in a wolf, and we used our amazing abilities of ninja jumping, and that's what allowed us to get across. But now, how are we supposed to do this? Okay, so obviously this fog is very poisonous to our health, and I pulled out my lantern, and initiated a cutscene, apparently. What? Hey, the monkey just took our lantern. She apparently wants us to come follow her. Hey, what's this monkey's problem? You idiot! While you were staring off into Dreamland, your lantern got stolen. Give me back my lantern, monkey. So apparently, this monkey is going to decide and help us by getting rid of the fog for us and helping us traverse through this poisonous air. Rupees! Careful, Link. I'm assuming that this fog is very dangerous for your health. I mean, that's what purple fog usually is. Very dangerous for the main hero's health. Aw, oh, nothing. I want some money! Rupee! Grab it, Link. No, no, no! Jeez, look at that monkey. It's just a bat. They're not that dangerous. I mean, they died when you hit them with a wooden sword. It's like the weakest of the weak. No, monkey. I want to cut the grass. I want to do my job, monkey. There we go. See, see, one, one smack with the sword just sends it flying into oblivion and it explodes into another particles of dust and whatnot. Yeah. Well, I took care of that. Now give me back my lantern! I appreciate the help, give me back my lantern! Lantern, lantern, give me back my lantern. Thank you. Oh, you broke it. <sighs> what an inconsiderate monkey. <sighs> Let's take our lantern back. You got the lantern back. It ran out of oil while you were following the monkey around. Ah! <sighs> Not cool. Well, it's a good thing we bought this oil then. Let's go ahead and fill our lantern back up with oil. And there. Problem solved. So, okay, the monkey helped us get across. Now, how do we get back? Whatever. I guess there's no cho uh, chance of us getting back to the, uh, village or anything, so... We have to go to... Oh! It's Hobos! Hi, Hobos! Hi, Hobos! How are you today? I haven't seen you in a while, so let's play. Give me your money! I like your money. Money space. It's a giant bridge. That wasn't here before, was it? Weird. That definitely wasn't here before. Okay then. Uh -oh. There's a giant wolf. It's kind of fine. Hey! Welcome! Buy something! Anything! That's right, Link. You betrayed my trust. Right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and get some... Bread potion. And this costs 30 rupees. I'm gonna go ahead 
and deposit all of my rupees into this. Because when you get into dungeons, I like to 100% complete them the first time around. So, then you can't open up chests. It just annoys me. I'm very perfectionist when it comes to video games, so I have to 100% complete the dungeon. Which is good for you guys, and good for me, and we just got attacked by a wolf. And woke up in this dreamland. Um, what? I'm very confused, guys. Uh -oh. What? It transformed into a person. Crap, we have to fight this guy. Let's go! Come on, bring it! Oh! Ow! A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it, it holds it has courage. You may be destined to become the hero of legend, but your current power would disgrace the proud green of the hero's tunic you wear. Well, it's not very proud. It's got a skirt. Glare. You must use your courage to seek power, and find it you must. Only then will you become the hero for whom this world despairs. If you do find the true courage, and you wish to save Hyrule from the horrors it now faces, then you will be worthy to receive the secrets that I hold. Hidden skill! Ending blow! Enemies that are filled with energy will quickly recover and attack again, even when stunned by a powerful strike. The ending blow is a great secret technique you can use on stunned enemies to end their breath before they spring back into action. When an enemy lies collapsed on the ground, stunned, L target and press A to leap high into the air and deliver a final strike. When the opportunity to end their breath is before you, you will see Finish A appear vividly before your eyes. Now, try it on me. Ching! Alright. Finish! Done! Hmm, that was a pinpoint strike. Never overlook your opportunity to finish with A. First hidden skill, the ending blow, has been passed on. Nice job, Blink. Up, oh, twirl, twirl. Shink. Eh, eh, eh. Alright, there are still six hidden skills for you to learn. Six? Those are only for one who carries the blood of the hero, the one whose spirit is that of the sublime beast. Grow powerful. Test your courage, and when you find that you need another skill to overcome the threats that face you, search for the statue that howl with the sound of the wind. Seek the sound that calls to the spirit of the beast to awaken me again. A sword wields no strength unless the hand that holds it has courage. Remember those words. Farewell. Okay, so we now have this guy who is going to teach us hidden skills. Apparently he's the past link of the game. Interesting. Alright. Let's continue, guys. We need to head to the forest temple, which is right up here. We've been here twice already. Just only the entrance, though. And hello! Herbos! How are you today? Oh, I missed the ending blue right there. Well, that wasn't good. He didn't he just tell us not to miss it? Oh well. Let's burn this cobweb away. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. There's a giant spider's web. Usually means there's spiders. <laughs> 